We got so many comments to do the tinfoil challenge and cut it open. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Dan and this is Lincoln and today we're gonna- This is Lincoln! Lincoln's here! Let's stay right here. I'm not sure if you're in the shot though. So today we have our special today we have our special guest, Claire. She's my daughter. She is nine years old. She's Lincoln's little sister. On our family channel, we've been working on a special project. You've seen the title. I have um, never seen these balls before, so I'm interested to see what it looks like. Yes. These things are the craze right now. It's a really cool YouTube trend. And we thought that we'd give our hand take our hand at it because Claire loves crafts. We spent a couple of days building it. It was a lot more work than we thought it would be. Out of the thing. How do I cut it? But that's the fun of it. It was fun. Did you have fun, Claire? Yes. We're going to show our masterpieces to Lincoln and see what he thinks about it. And then what I want to do is cut them open cleanly because we know it's made out of tin foil. But what does it look like? Because it's compacted. I mean, we had to hammer this thing down so you many didn't times. Hammer it? We had yeah, to hammer it. With a mallet hammer it and polish wow. it and sand it and all kinds of stuff. It's actually a really cool project and it's really inexpensive. So if you're looking for a fun craft project, maybe have an adult with you, but it's a really cool one. You can watch how we did it on our family channel. This is like Jumanji all day long. Hey, grab it, Lincoln. Grab it. Oh, I thought it was, this is very light. It is very light. That's crazy. There's a lot of little cracks and it's not necessarily yeah. looked like a ball. It's kind of like a ball. It's pretty shiny though. It's cool. Yeah. This is so light but hard at the same time. Are you ready for mine? Yes. Whoa, that looks cool. I mean, it's really black. I don't know how to polish. We spent like yeah. two hours. Don't pull stuff oh, off of it. There's a little piece right there, yes, that can come off that I could pull it. I could pull that little part off, but other than that, it's pretty good. I feel how tight it is. Like, squeeze it. Yeah. They both feel really tight. This one feels more smooth. What's inside of this tinfoil ball? If you want to see the whole madness of how to make these things, go to our family channel. Thanks, Claire, for working on the project. But now it is time to cut this ball open. What is inside of the metal ball? The cool ball. I say we use this one first because it looks really big and cool. I kind of want to go with a really, really fine one so we get a nice fine cut. Oh, and then we use the big If we have to. Here we go. Ready to cut open this guy? I hope it works. I hope we can actually get into it. Here we go. We're going to cut into it and we're going to hopefully not lose any fingers. Whoa, you've already made a dent. No, it didn't make a dent. Yeah, it did. Look at it. It made a cut. Yeah. I think this will look cool, like cut cleanly in half. If you can do it cleanly. I know if I can. You're in it. <laughs> what is the best way to cut one of these things? I don't know, but... Probably this is how I'm doing would it. Be good. No. You know what? A bandsaw would be really nice. But it's hard because you can't, your hands, like. It's so small. It is so small and it's round. You can't really clamp it. I want a it. big. I want to. I want to make like a huge one. That would be so cool to make a really big one. Let's do it. Let's do it. That would be awesome. We're going to try doing this. Maybe after Lincoln watches the video on our family channel of how we built it. Yeah. He'll be like inspired. Or he'll be like, oh my gosh, that's way too much work. I'm never going to do that. All my hard work, days and days of pounding and sanding. The blade's halfway in. Is it cutting down the teeth? Got a long ways to go. Ah! We're in the size of the blade. Woohoo! Tesla, quiet. Seems like it's cutting easy. You have a bunch of that stuff on your hand. Should we try Lincoln saw? The Lincoln saw! I don't know if it will fit. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. I don't know if it's really making a dent. <laughs> Yes, 
suppose you've got to speed things up. It's going to take an hour or two. Ah. Let's go back to this guy. That's a much better sound than the other two. I feel like this is going back to our roots of our channel, like the, the golf ball, the baseball, like it, this is kind of how we cut it open. It was like in the most ridiculous way that showed that I don't know how to use tools. Yep. And it's not that safe on my hands, like my hands are just right under it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna get this now, guys. We're figuring this out. Okay, you want to do this? Whoa. We're more than halfway through. It took you that. Down. Everybody, everybody doubts me. That's as far as you've got it. Ooh. Oh, you're really close. I'm more than half. Whoa, more than halfway. Oh, we're halfway there. Ah! This kid is not. You know that song? We'll probably have to have like some sort of counter on the side that shows how long it actually took me to cut this open. Oh. I'm curious though to see what it looks like with all the layers. Yeah. Once it's cut open. It's not going to look like a shot of ball. Of course, it's pure metal that you just cut, I would think, at least. It's starting to rub off and scratch the actual saw now. At some point, we're gonna get down to my hand. <laughs> Ta-da! Thanks, Lincoln, you're the best. I don't think it's gonna do anything, though. How many balls do you think that we have cut open? That's gonna be our little contest here. How many balls have we cut open? That is the contest in the comments. That's a good question. Yeah, let us know. Whoever gets it right first that we see. We will. Pin your comment. Oh, we will? Yeah, we'll pin your comment. And we'll. Say good job. Good job. Good job. Go, 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 go. Oh, you're so close. Pretty close. want it to break right apart. Uh. Chip on ball! Go! Go! And no luck, don't, don't look! He's trying to look inside before we see what's inside. Oh! We got this! Kind of! How does this not go over yet? Ah. Right, right, right. It's oh wow, it's yeah. actually really cool. So you can totally see where the first tinfoil was and you can see where the where you packed it in. This is actual tinfoil. The inside of it has bigger pieces of tinfoil that look like, you know, like like this kind of stuff. It just... Thank you, Lincoln, for that little intermission at the climax of you the video. You have another one? It's like a rainbow. 
All right, so the inside of this thing is really interesting because I pounded on top of this thing all around it forever. So the people in Japan, this is where this is based out of, that actually started this trend, they pound on this for a much, much longer than what we did so that they can get a perfect round ball. As you can see, ours is not perfectly round. Look, I'm taking, I just took a little bit of the tinfoil out, out of the, the middle. very middle. So the middle is not as compacted, but you can see about an inch in, it's like almost pure metal. I hit this thing a lot. If I squeeze it, it won't do anything. Oh, this is what I used to hit it. Boom, 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 <laughs> until we broke the table. <laughs> also, we're gonna go try to make another one of these so you can follow our family channel that's for more massive. of that. All right, so that's what's inside. That looked cool. This little guy. Thank you for that. Give us something that's a little easier that doesn't take us three or four days to build something. Yeah, maybe like something simple. Crazy, you ruined the table. I know, we totally ruined it. <laughs> it took Look at you that. that 